young entrepreneurs in Singapore. We know that many, many entrepreneurial businesses are starting up here, and we want to highlight uh, this past week has been an amazing one. Uh, Twelve Singaporean brands uh, got together in an exhibition called From Singapore to Paris between the 5th to the 10th of October, just finishing today. Uh, we'd like to bring on uh, a couple folks who are key in this movement because it really highlights how Singapore is going abroad and starting to make a name for itself in, in many different ways. Uh, let's welcome to the show Mashazan Masjum, a Paris-based shoe designer called Mashazan Official, and our good friend, uh, regular contributor to the show, Dr. Jade Kwa, senior medical doctor, professional life coach, co-founder of Straits Skin Care. Great to have you, but especially you, Mashazan, because you are in the middle of the night in Paris, are you not? <laughs> it's early in the morning here. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can very, very well. well. Thank Fantastic. you. You're looking very fresh. Have you been out? Have you been out partying or something? And you just got home? I've got my coffee here, so I'm all good. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for being with us. And and why don't you start by um, uh, just start off a little bit, telling us about these designers that are in Paris right now. Your your base there. Uh, what's what's happening with the Singapore fashion scene in Paris? So uh, the whole idea of this collective is to really really bring together a group of designers from Singapore and to present them to a Parisian audience. Uh, as you know, I'm currently based in, in, in Paris, uh, yeah. but I wanted to bring my fellow designers and fellow brand founders from Singapore to Paris to, to give it uh, an opportunity for them to showcase to the Parisian audiences. Uh, I wanted to create a, a sense of a community uh, that exists within this fashion ecosystem uh, that exists in Paris. And because I benefit, I've benefited from it, uh, being a part of the uh, ecosystem here through my school, Office Francais de la Mode. And I, I wanted to sort of uh, create the sense of community, a, a tribal feeling among Singapore fashion designers and brands to uh, be a part of this ecosystem. It's a wonderful initiative. Wow. Fantastic. Uh, 12 Singaporean brands, as you said, have come together in this exhibition that you helped to host from Singapore to Paris. It's been going on for the last week. So I wanted to ask you first, what's, who's been the audience, the demographic? Who have you been showing this exhibition to? And what has the response been like? Yeah, so we are talking different uh, communities, different tribes, obviously. So uh, the first thing, uh, the main uh, audience will be Singaporeans living in Paris. Mm -hmm. uh, and why do I say this? Because with the pandemic, you, you've not been able to come to Singapore to visit as regular as, as regularly as you like uh, because of quarantine uh, um, yeah. restrictions and whatnot. Um, so this is a chance for Singaporeans in Paris to really soak in the five senses, the taste, the sounds, the, the mm. textures and the feeling and the sights that Singapore has to offer. Um, so for example, we have curated soundscape from Singapore. You know, sounds like uh, you guys in Singapore take it for granted. The doors are closing. Da -da 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 -da. Or, or, or the traffic light sounds, <laughs> things like that, or the sounds of the kompang, the tabla, and the lion dance. Um, mm. I've even got um, Alfian Sa'ad, uh, Singapore's acclaimed playwright, to do a poetry reading of some of his works uh, and mix that up with, with music and nice. even a, ren a rendition of a, a, a local folk song. So all these uh, sort of create memories and mementos that uh, I'm hoping to that will evoke certain kind of fondness uh, for towards our city, little city, city state. Lovely. Uh, Mashazan, thank you so much for, for that, that uh, amazing introduction to this. And uh, we go now to Dr. Jade uh, uh, Kwa. And Jade, uh, you've been on the show before in years past, yes. and you've done so much uh, around Singapore for uh, advocating for holistic wellness. You brought this story to my attention. And tell me about, in addition to your own straight skincare brand that you have developed, um, how, how you were connected with uh, from Singapore to Paris, uh, the, the exhibition that's been going on. Yeah. Well, um, as, as you say, I've been an advocate of holistic wellness for some time. Uh, my background obviously is in uh, critical care, so I'm still working on the front line, actually, uh, mm. fighting the good fight against the COVID pandemic. Um, yeah. And at the time that I met Masha Zan, uh, years ago at Paris Fashion Week, um, I, I hadn't yet uh, begun my journey into uh, looking out for mental and emotional wellness as well. Uh, that only came after 
uh, when I realized that physical wellness isn't the only thing that we have to be looking out for, for ourselves and for, you know, our, our patients, our clients. So then I started a life coaching business. And to me, it's really difficult to get people to understand something if you're just going to preach it to them. If you're just going to tell them mindfulness is important, you've got to do this, you've got to do that, you know, stop smoking, blah, 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 you know. Yeah. Um, but if you sort of integrate practical mindfulness into everyday things, then that is something that people could really buy into and get into without maybe even realizing it. And so that's when I started my skincare line, Straight Skincare, which is a nice blend of medical science and straight secrets. Um, I was chatting about it with Mashizan, who's always, you know, kept in touch with friends in Singapore. And then, you know, he started telling me about this collective he was doing. And I thought, wow, this is all about community. It's a whole collaborative economy now. And it just got really exciting. You know, at the beginning, it was just a, a small group. But now, you know, there's so much support from, from everybody, from the embassy, from uh, you know, a, a lot of uh, big Singaporean organizations. So it's wonderful to see how uh, Mashizan has grown such a small idea into something so concrete and so so big. And I, I'm given to understand that it's been a very, very popular show in Paris also over the past few days. Mm, yeah, she's wonderful. I was going to say, Mashizan, on that point, you know, I'm curious to know how you curate this, how you decide who's going to be a part of this exhibition. You know, you mentioned 12 different brands there. What is it you're looking for? And is there is there a quintessentially Singaporean thing in the branding of the, whether it's fashion, design, poetry, whatever you mentioned there? What was it you was looking for that was quintessentially Singaporean? It's interesting that you, you, you mentioned that because just uh, yesterday we had a, a, work sh a round table discussion of what it means to be a Singapore designer. Is there even such a thing as a Singapore design identity? Uh, when I first started on this journey of looking up for fashion brands, I really wanted to look for brands that have a special emphasis on uh, artisanal craftsmanship uh, in their brand story. Uh, you know, brands that uh, have a certain, certain values um, kind of similar to mine in that we value uh, things like uh, affirmation and kindness and independence. So I, I think with the brands that I've picked, uh, definitely there's a sense of um, similarity in terms of, uh, of, of its values and its, its, in, in its different universes. Um, mm -hmm. Not just aesthetics, because I think aesthetics is it's okay to be different. It's okay to have certain, uh, to have many varying looks. Um, so, for example, Baju by Onyata, she's very much inspired by her heritage and her um, her links with her Javanese, um, you know, uh, traditions. Uh, but at the same time, we also have Jin Lee, uh, who is very modern and contemporary. Um, or uh, the missing piece, uh, Ealing Fox designs, um, and that's very much um, uh, that harks back to the idea of a, a Cheong Sam, but reinterpreting it such that it's, it fits the modern woman. So uh, to answer your question, there is no simple uh, uh, criteria, but the, I, the, but the bottom line is that we each have a, a, a sense of commitment to um, certain values and the values of, and those values are pretty critical to that. Yeah, Mashazan and, and Jade, maybe you can add in to this as well. You just mentioned two of the brands uh, that are there, but what are the other ones that are there? Um, and just give us kind of a high level look at who, at the 12 that are participating. Yeah, so apart from fashion and fashion, we have Nude Fam uh, by Adeline Putri. We also have um, uh, Nida Shea, um, uh, another fashion brand. And apart from those, we also have accessories brands like uh, Eden and Ellie, as well as Intrigue. Uh, also, um, skincare, obviously, Dr. Gia that Jane has mentioned, and uh, as well as uh, Cipher Aromatics, uh, perfumery. Uh, also, uh, in terms of taste, we have uh, one distillery company called the Orientalist Spirits. And we're going to do a, a spirit tasting session uh, tomorrow, or uh, whiskey and vodka. <laughs> so that's quite uh, fun. I did a gin. I did a gin session with them in Haji Lane uh, a week ago or two weeks ago. Oh, so, yeah, they're fantastic! Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was slurring for a week. <laughs> it took me a while to get over that one. Sunday was a rough day. Let me tell you, it was two weeks ago. Anyway, sorry. Carry on. <laughs> but uh, but there's also another interesting thing that I, I also curated. So apart from all these talks and roundtable discussions um, and yeah. demonstrations, we're going to have a very fun, uh, light-hearted debate uh, today, later on this this evening, on this topic. My sambal is better than your sambal because <laughs> great stuff, great stuff. So let them battle it out. 
Yeah, sure. The battle of the sunballs. <laughs> and and Jade, from your perspective now, uh, you know, having this uh, opportunity to be seen in, in Paris and what is that, how does that change the dynamic of Singapore brands? Uh, everyone's ta always talking about, oh, we, we need some globally recognized Singapore mm -hmm. brands beyond Singapore Airlines, mm -hmm. uh, etc. <laughs> Uh, what yes. is this? What is this kind of effort that Mushazan is doing do for Singapore brands overseas? Well, first of all, um, it's definitely an honor to be able to fly the Singapore flag high, you know, anywhere in the world, but particularly in a place like Paris, which is known for, you know, its high taste in uh, fashion and culture. But um, beyond that, also, I think we've discovered many things about ourselves, you know, beyond the brands. So leading up to the um, this exhibition, this uh, retail pop-up, we've also been hosting sort of uh, conversations uh, on, on my Instagram. So we've been having IG Live sessions with the individual designers, and each of them are quite thematic. Um, and unique according to the designer themselves to sort of discuss their brand universe, their brand identity. And it's been really quite interesting. So some of the discussions are controversial, like what makes you a Singaporean designer if you haven't been, say, born and bred in Singapore? And what makes you a Singaporean designer if you didn't go to fashion school? You know, so mm. sort of encouraging other entrepreneurs also to overcome that sort of um, imposter syndrome that many people sort of like get, get gaslit by. Um, and really this whole collective has, I think, made us stronger um, and being able to identify uh, uh, get in touch with our own identities even whilst we're trying to tell other people about ourselves we are starting to know ourselves a bit better as well so it's been really very interesting this that's a great that point has built. Thank that's you. a great point uh jade especially the bit about imposter syndrome i think that's yeah. something we've discussed on this show before mm. and uh, and particularly relevance to the local scene i'm proudly wearing a singapore local brand right now i'm just hating into ad and on that point we have a a, a, a viewer's question which is you know how do you measure this is maybe for Marsha's on. How do you measure success of Singapore branding, particularly in fashion? What would be success for you, Marsha on? I think there are many different criteria. I mean, obviously, validation from um, media is important. But beyond that, I think it's attraction that you get from uh, various tribes and stakeholders that you're trying to cultivate. Um, and it doesn't have to be big. It could be a small cult brand uh, with a certain following. I think that could be a measure of success as well. Uh, I think, you know, just that longevity of the brand, how it's been able to sustain interest and in, in growth, uh, no matter the speed, uh, whether it's fast or, mm. or, or, or slow. Interesting. Very good. Uh, Mushazan uh, and Jade, we have to leave it there, but thank you both so much for coming on and, and talking with us today, speaking with Dr. Jade Kwa, the co-founder of Straight Skincare, and Mushazan Masjum, Paris-based shoe designer, Mushazan Official. If I could trouble you, uh, either one or both of you, to put the other brands in our chat on Facebook Live. I've put Jade's in there, uh, but if you could just uh, put the other ones in there so that people can have a look and maybe get online and, and check out their websites or, or, or buy from them, we'd love to support them in that way. Absolutely. Yeah, in the yeah, meantime, thanks right. for being with us, and, and Mashazan, we hope we can get you on again in the middle of the night sometime. Yeah, we'll have to do that. probably a long time <laughs> after you've done the spirits. <laughs> no problem, anytime, guys. Love talking to you guys. Uh, thanks for being with us, really appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> Have okay. a good day. Bye-bye now. Uh, it's great. You know, we need to support yes. the local brands and it's